Hey, this is DK Bold with your Bold Business Report and this morning's Wall Street Journal update. So on the front page, uh, we've been talking about this quite a bit. Sure enough, Europe is bankrolling Greece. The finance ministers from 16 European nations, or the Eurozone, have agreed to a loan of up to 30 billion in euros, basically 40 million U.S. dollars. And it's at a 5% interest rate, which is lower than the 7% that Greece currently has on much of its debt. Now, Greece could apply for additional money that would be even less costly through the IMF, up to an additional 15 billion euros. Now, this doesn't mean that they have instant access to cash, but it does mean that they now have the ability to hopefully uh, initially get out of their challenges. This all has to be voted on. And the, uh, in the response to all of this, Asian stocks have, uh, have risen, and it is definitely seen overall as much more generous than originally anticipated. Now, also um, in sad news, Warsaw mourns its fallen leader. Uh, the public is very somber in Poland. 96 people, including President uh, Lech Kaczynski and his wife, died when their aircraft crashed in heavy fog. Um, they've also seen a very sympathetic response from Russia, which definitely creates some hopes that this tragedy could lead to rebuilding of the relationship between those two nations. Moving on to our second section in uh, the marketplace. All of our uh, consumer goods folks are out there throwing money hand over fist at advertising. Yes, um, the ad campaigns are increasing as wary, wary customers or I should say consumers, begin to open their wallets. Procter & Gamble, Colgate, Kimberly Clark, and Clorox have all seen customers leave the higher dollar brands and move to lower, less expensive items and actually stay satisfied. Imagine that. So sure enough, these folks are going to spend 9.7% of their annual sales to help lure you and me to open our wallets back on better shampoo and shave creams, razors, you name it, all of the good stuff. We'll see how that plays out. Second up, uh, guys, we've talked about the health care and uh, going after granny. Well, sure enough, a uh, clothing manufacturer, Talbots, is going after granny as well. They are politely kicking granny out the door. So after near, re near retail death at Talbots, they are making a comeback after a very creative financing deal has eliminated much of their debt. Now, they have to get to a younger crowd because even folks that were surveyed that were 65 years old said that they felt that the market for Talbots was older than they were. So their target needs to be closer to 35 plus, and that group, while not impossible, it is definitely a challenge moving forward, and they want to do it without alienating their existing customers. So that could be a challenge all the way around, but their CEO seems very positive and excited about the opportunity. Now moving on to our last section, money and investing. AIG and Goldman unwind soured trades. So sure enough, in the derivatives market, we had all these crazy trades with bad real estate that caused AIG to be in such a horrible situation. Well, these bad mortgage trades with Goldman that had caused all the problems are have now been completely unwind. And if you look at it, $14 billion of it was taken care of through the government bailouts. And now there's a, a smaller portion of that that has now been unwound and it's created, AIG will show a loss of somewhere between $1.5 billion and $2 billion um, that they showed last year. But it does look like that could put them in the right place to move forward. Um, and the good news is, is that AIG is no longer exposed to the decline in the value of these somewhat toxic asset pools. Now, kind of furthering that, uh, the second article, bailouts look much less pricey. AIG comes right back up again because the market and the analysts seem to be positive or optimistic about AIG and that they may be in the next year, within this year or possibly next, be able to stand on their own and in doing so would be uh, be a good sign for the market overall. The government is also seeing that the prop up of these challenged companies in financial markets the cost is less somewhere around 89 billion dollars versus approximately 115 that was initially thought. Now 
this is all dependent on the health of the economy as well as the housing market. So definitely things to watch and I don't know about you, but I'm always a little skeptical when the government's telling me something's going to cost less. I'll leave that up to you and as always I'll leave it up to you. Please leave some feedback down below. We'd love to hear from you and as always you have a start of a wonderful week here on Monday and as always find your passions. Take care and have a great day.